The multiverse illusion. Are we living in one or infinite realities? What if everything you know is just one sliver of a vast cosmic library? Imagine a universe where every decision you didn't make, every road you didn't take, actually did unfold somewhere else. This isn't science fiction. It's the multiverse theory, a cosmic possibility lurking at the edge of physics, philosophy, and imagination. For decades, cosmologists have gazed at the fine-tuned parameters of our universe and wondered, why this universe? Why these particular laws, constants, and initial conditions? The multiverse theory offers a wild solution. There isn't just one universe. There are countless. Some arise from eternal inflation, a process in which bubble universes constantly bud off from an expanding cosmic foam. Others emerge from quantum mechanics, where every possible outcome spawns a new branch of reality. Still others are hypothesized in string theory's landscape of 10 or 500 different vacuum states. Each approach offers a unique flavor of multiverse. But here's the twist. None of them are directly observable. So, are they real? Here's where things turn beautifully maddening. Mathematically, many multiverse models are consistent with current physics. In fact, ignoring them sometimes creates more problems than accepting them. Stephen Hawking, in his No Boundary proposal, implied a multiverse of potential quantum histories. Max Tegmark took things further, categorizing four levels of multiverse, from bubble universes to abstract mathematical structures. But observationally, we hit a wall. Our cosmic horizon locks us into one patch of reality. Other universes, if they exist, are causally disconnected. So maybe the multiverse isn't physical. Maybe it's mathematical. Or metaphorical. Or simply a mirror to our desire for cosmic meaning, which leads us to a haunting possibility. What if the multiverse is a mathematical illusion? A map that resembles territory but doesn't touch it? What if quantum branching and cosmic bubbles aren't realities, but echoes of our own conceptual scaffolding? Is the multiverse real, or just the inevitable consequence of extending our theories past their empirical limits? And here's the deepest cut. If every possible version of you already exists somewhere, what becomes of you? Are you the origin point, or just one of infinite reflections? The multiverse tempts us with grandeur, yet forces humility. It says, you are not the center. But it also whispers, you are everywhere. But here's the cosmic twist still waiting to unfold. What if the multiverse isn't just a physical question, but a spiritual one? What if it points not to many places, but to many selves? What hidden dimension should we unfold next?